Today we're doing an oil change on a 1996 Suzuki DR350. Oil change is pretty simple, but it has a couple of unusual features that you may want to go over if this is your first time doing the oil change. Okay, to do this job, you're going to need a few basic hand tools, 17 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 19 millimeter wrench, a uh, pair of needle nose kind of helps, screwdriver, and long oil. Last thing you'll want to make sure of is to use 10W40 motorcycle oil. That's what this one calls for. So as you may or may not know, the DR350 has oil in the frame itself, and there is a screen in the frame itself to help strain out any bits of particles or metal or anything that might get into your engine. So you don't need to do it necessarily for every oil change, but if you are going to do it, you do need to remove the skid plate. It's held on with four 12 millimeter bolts. There's one on either side in this location, two in the front, and you're just gonna take out those four bolts. Okay, with the skid plate off and the bike warmed up, we're gonna take out the 17 millimeter drain plug. Okay, while that is draining, we actually have a secondary drain plug in the front of the frame. We're gonna get that out. The frame drain plug is going to be a 12 millimeter. Okay, we're gonna let both of those drain. Okay, while the oil from the frame and drain plug are draining, we're gonna go ahead and take off the oil filter housing. It's three 10 millimeter bolts, and you are going to drip a little bit of oil as you take this cover off as well, so just be aware that your drain pan is oil drain plan it pan is under there and keep in mind you have this spring uh, that goes on top of this cover so it goes filter spring cover uh, there's another instructional video someone put that spring on incorrectly this is the correct orientation for it. next you're just going to carefully remove this and there is an o-ring here and you want to check that and make sure it's in good shape as well okay we're going to put on our new oil filter just pushes right on and we're gonna take the O-ring here and the O-ring goes inside the ring on the oil filter housing cover. So once it's in there, it should look something like that. Spring on top, of course. Make sure that the Suzuki emblem is orientated correctly. And of course, if you saw me using the impact driver, you never want to reinstall it with the impact driver. It's okay to take it off. but you always wanna start these by hand and then snug them up with a wrench. The next thing we're gonna do is remove the oil screen that is here in the frame. First thing you gotta do is remove this hose. So we're just gonna take our Phillips and remove this hose clamp. Okay, so it looks like on ours, someone actually stripped out the Phillips there. So we're just gonna come over here with a uh, quarter inch Allen to loosen that hose clamp there for us. The rest of that oil drain out there. With the hose off, you will need a 19 millimeter wrench to loosen this up. Okay, so we have the uh, the frame oil screen taken out here. There's a tiny bit of debris, nothing that I would be overly concerned about, but if you see a fair amount of metal shavings or anything like that, you uh, definitely wanna take a closer look at the inside of your engine. It does have a rubber O-ring there. You do wanna inspect that and you do wanna clean this screen before you reinstall it. So we're gonna do that off camera here. So after you've cleaned your uh, in frame oil filter or screen rather you're gonna go ahead and reinstall this uh, again you want to make sure you double check your o-ring make sure there's no tears or any sort of damage with the screen reinstalled i'm gonna put the hose back on there make sure the clamp is orientated so that i can retighten this All right, once that's nice and snug we're going to come back with the 12 millimeter drain bolt come back and hit it with the 12 millimeter wrench to snug that up. Of course, it's time to reinstall the drain bolt. All right, here's your fill cap for the oil. I loosened it off camera. If you have a uh, oil funnel with a little bit of a longer neck, it can be helpful. We are gonna make this one work. Um, it's gonna need approximately 1.8 liters of oil. So we're gonna start with that. We're gonna put in the 1.8 liters. We're gonna fire it up, let it run for about 30 seconds, recheck the oil level, and then add accordingly. Uh, again, it calls for 10W40 motorcycle oil. Uh, definitely wanna make sure you use motorcycle specific oil. It does have a wet clutch and you wanna protect. 
Okay, with the oil cap reinstalled again, just run the bike for about 30 seconds, check to make sure it's in between the lines and fill the bike up with oil accordingly. And you're all set, super easy.